doing something brand new to the channel and that is pulling live bait for late season muskies. This is a very, very common technique to target muskies late in the season. And in today's video, I'm gonna be spending the rest of today out here to hopefully put a fish in the net. I was out here yesterday in bluebird skies and no wind and marked two really big fish, one that I'm certain was over 50 inches. I know where those fish are hanging out. We're gonna get up on the weeds, drop a sucker in and hopefully get a fish in the net for you guys. So when it comes to spot positioning, in the late season when it comes to pulling live bait it's, it's very self-explanatory very simple to do on, in this case i'm on metro water and really all i'm doing is locating weed lines and that is all there is to it doesn't really matter where the weed lines are just find the green weeds you're gonna find muskies it'll depend lake to lake there's some lakes in the metro especially the deeper clear lakes where the weeds are going to go out to like 15 feet and there's other shallower more non-clear lakes where those weeds are only going to come out to about eight feet so really depth isn't going to matter we're really focusing in on the weed lines because that's where the oxygen is going to be it's where the bait fish are going to be it's where the muskies are going to be so really if you are struggling to find weeds then just literally head to any steep break line on the lake and i can guarantee eventually you're going to find a muskie or two laying around and really all we're doing is just following that contour following the lead line i usually run 0.7 to 0.8 miles an hour find the weeds find the brake lines and just keep going at a slow and steady pace. Now, it depends on kind of the water you're fishing. On clear water, I'll usually run my suckers pretty far back with something like a float, or I'll run a down rod, which is when I don't run a float at all, I just keep it directly under the boat. And that is what I'm gonna be doing today because this water has murked up quite a bit. I'm not really worried about those fish getting turned off by my boat. So all I'm gonna do is literally drop the sucker down right off the back corner of the boat, probably gonna have about 10 to 11 feet out on the line counter. And we're just gonna patrol that sucker along the weed lines at about 0.7 miles an hour today. We've got perfect conditions to do this. There's not a lot of wind. And that is always very helpful this time of year when you're trying to do this sort of thing. All right, the first step to catching a muskie on a sucker is of course, putting the sucker on our harness. All right. You gotta be aware of uh, the regulations that your state or province or wherever you're fishing might have on live bait, but Minnesota allows standard quick check rigs. So first hook is going through the nostril or the mouth of the sucker. I'm gonna grab my first harness. And the big thing that's important when doing this is going above the lateral line, which is that defined line right there. And also we want to pull away some scales because you just want this to go in relatively lightly, not super harsh or deep. Repeat the same process with this other hook. I'll put this one more towards the head. I like running mine closer to the, to the head of the sucker. Most of the time the sucker or the muskie is going to grab the sucker in the head. That's in and now we're ready to go. So we'll lift gently Put our sucker in the water. Make sure he doesn't get tangled up. And now you can see our sucker is swimming around lively and ready to go for a hungry muskie. So I'm in some weeds right now, so I'm gonna get my boat in position before I actually put my sucker down there. So we'll put our lovely chaos tackle trolling rod and live bait rod in our respected rod holder until we are ready to drop him in. 
What's up, everybody? Noah with Madison Angling. Welcome back to Shop Talk. There will probably be a lot of parallels between most of those stories, but obviously everybody's okay. journey, uh, life is different. Okay. Uh, you know, our work and business lives That's are different. Fish. So... That's a fish. Man, this fish is just ripping with it. Oh man, what the heck? Look at this sucker go. He's got a hundred feet of line now, what the hell? Okay, I think I'm just gonna take her. There she is. Ugh. Got her. All right. Let's keep the tension on. It's a, it's a good fish too. Keep that tension on. Oh man, it's a big fish. It's a real big one. It's a real freaking big one. Unreal. It's a freaking big fish. It's a really big one. This is way bigger than I thought. It might be 50. It's gonna be close. I think four footer maybe. Got her hooked perfectly. Got her hooked absolutely perfectly right now. Nice fish. Oh yeah, get him in that. Yeah! And she's off! Let's go! Big fish! Big one! Chunky one! Oh my god, look at that. She came off in the net. Sucker's gone. Let's go, baby! It's been quite a tough late season for me. I've had a lot of takes on suckers and I just haven't been able to connect with the fish yet. Until now, that fish screamed out with that sucker. There wasn't a question in my mind that a fish had grabbed that bait. And I really wanted to get close to that thing. Just make sure it had it in the right spot because I've missed so many fish this year. My gut just told me to go for it. I went for it. We had her hooked perfectly. Sucker was out. Rig was right in the tip of the mouth. Got her in the net and she came off. So I don't think it's 50. I'm gonna guess 48, 49, but I might be wrong. It's super, super wide. This is a big fish. I'm guessing at least upper 40s, I hope. I might be wrong. This fish is super, super chunky though. It's November, it's cold. Let's get this fish up here. Get her on the tape, take a look at her. Look at the head on the thing. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, it's a big fish. Okay, let's get her to the front. 51 and a half. Oh, I can barely lift this thing. Oh my God, look at the size of that fish. <laughs> That's a 51 and a half by 23 Metro Beast. Let's get this freaking fish back in the lake. Oh my God, that just happened. Okay. okay. Look at the size of that monster. Look at how tall that fish is. Unreal. Look at the size of that fish. Monster. Monster, she's ready. She's ready to go. Look at that submarine. Oh. All right, guys, I got a lot to say. I got a lot to talk about here. But for now, I got to warm my hands up and just come to terms with what just happened. Trolling live bait rods are relatively cheap. You don't need anything super fancy. Line con reels are cheap, and the terminal tackle and reels and line and all that other stuff is cheap, again, compared to like when you're spending 20 to $50 per musky bait. So very easy, accessible thing to do. Bring somebody new out, get somebody new into this sort of thing. It's really easy and it's a lot of fun and very exciting and the reward can be immense as stated by that giant muskie. With all of that out of the way though, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. If you are a muskie fisherman, please subscribe to my channel. I do my best to post the best and most muskie content that I can and we're going to have hopefully a couple more of those videos yet this year. But until then, I'll see you next week and thanks for watching.